plan for every believer is to fulfill God's purpose and adhere to His instructions. God created us to be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. The plan of God towards us is of good, not of evil, to give us a future. God created us to be the head, not the tail. He only asks of something in return, which is our heart. As a child of God, open up your heart unto God. During the period of trials and temptations, God is not far away. He is always there. The devil is a lair over your life. God is our ever-present help in time of trouble, as seen in Psalm chapter 46, verse 1. He never sleeps nor slumbers. God is not man that gets tired of hearing your needs and problems. God loves us to the extent that while we are sinners, Christ died for us on the cross of Calvary. And because of this, we have the joy of salvation in Christ Jesus. There is so much good coming your way only if we believe in the wonder-working power of our Lord Jesus Christ. There are moments you feel you cannot access God because you have done so many despicable things and your past is making you feel guilty. The moment you commit your soul to God, you are now a new creature in the Lord Jesus. Of course, the devil and his agents will come from time to time to tempt you to drag you back from God. They will bring all manner of trials and tribulations against you. However, Romans chapter 8 verse 31 says, If God be for you, who can be against you? God is ready to help you through the power of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will guide and lead you so that you will not fall astray. Do you feel you have lost your spiritual virtues as a result of sin? God is ready to hear your cry and restore everything you have lost spiritually. God is ready to double your spiritual gift if only you key in to His will. As a believer in Christ, do you feel you can now pray for the sick and they get healed of their sickness? Then you become satisfied with His spiritual gift. No, do not stop there. God has just started His work in your life. There is so much spiritual blessing that God is ready to bless you with. Be sure you have surrendered all unto Him. Whatever challenge you are facing, be it financial difficulty, do not let go of your faith. God is still alive. God is not dead. God has so much in store for you. Stand firm. Do not look back. Keep on pressing on. God knows the intent of your heart. He sees your pain and suffering, and He will reward you. So keep holding on. No matter the circumstances, keep on believing. Christ says in Matthew chapter 11, verse 28, We should come unto Him all those that are weary and heavy laden, for He will give us rest. He is saying He would give us the desired rest we need. God is not a man that He should lie, nor a son of a man to change His mind. As he said it and has not come to fruition, keep on looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of your faith. He has so much blessing awaiting you. Trust him and obey his will. He will make a way for you. Habakkuk chapter 2 verses 3 to 4. Keep on looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of your faith. He has so much blessing awaiting you. Trust him and obey his will. He will make a way for you. God is ready to increase us as far as we want Him to. The more your service is to God, the more God is ready to bless us in every way, be it spiritually, financially, materially, in every area of our lives. So give your utmost in the service of God. Do not be like the hypocrites who do vain things just to get glory. Give your services to God in truth and in spirit. The Lord who sees all and knows all knows our heart and is ready to reward those who diligently seek Him. It is recorded that it should have a sweet-smelling savor. You may feel others are doing well and they are not even spiritually better than you. Do not be discouraged. God has a plan for you. What is coming your way is bigger than what you can ever imagine. 
Are there so many issues of life you are facing? Do you have financial, marital, or spiritual issues? Call upon God, cry to Him like Jabez did. He said in His word that we should call upon Him in time of trouble and trials, and He will answer us. In time of crisis, look up to God. His word says, I look up to the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. If you have a financial problem, call upon God. He is ready to supply your needs according to His riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Keep on hoping on God. He knows your every need and He will supply your every need. There is nothing impossible for Him to do. If God has not done it, it is because it is not the right time. God is a God of time. He will do it at the right time. So stay focused, stay firm, and you will receive your reward. The devil knows when you are very close to your blessing. This is why he would do anything to block your way. So he brings blessings and success that cannot last and are ephemeral, just to steal the great blessing that God has in store for you. An example of this was when Jesus was tempted by the devil after 40 days and nights in the wilderness. The devil tempted him three times, but Jesus stood firm by the word of God. God will only be there for as much as you want him to. Moses was so close to God to the point God showed him his back. Enoch walked with God to the point God took him and he was no more. Solomon offered a burnt offering of a thousand, and God duly rewarded him by making him the wisest man on earth. This is not the time to give up. Your miracle is closer than you think. God is about to do something wonderful in your life. Stay focused on God. Seek God and you will find Him. God is yearning for a relationship with you. Are you ready to open your heart and soul to Him? Do not let the enticement of the world draw you back. God has so much in stock for you. Pass through that trial and temptation. When you remain focused on Christ and ready to do His will, the Holy Spirit will guide you and direct your ways. Do not be fearful about your future. More blessings are coming your way as long as you key in to God's principle of giving. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 assures us, that God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ever ask or think. God is more than able to do whatever you want of Him, but seek Him first and His righteousness. When you do this, then you are sure of a supernatural breakthrough. The Lord is preparing so much more for those who are loyal to God and those that serve Him diligently. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9 says, eyes hath not seen, nor ear heard, neither have it entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. As long as you love God, he will do so much for you.